Hey everyone, this is Nancy Ellen with the Crafty Yarn Barn. Today I have a new project for you. I have made these cute little hair bun covers. I've made this one out of pink and this one out of variegated yarn. And I've crocheted in the round and I've attached them on the back to a heavy duty ponytail holder. So I want to show you how you can make this cute little project. These are the things that you're going to need. I have used lightweight yarn, and this yarn calls for a size G6 four millimeter hook. I've got my hook, I got my scissors, and I have a heavy duty ponytail holder. I like to use plastic yarn needles and yarn markers when I do my projects. It helps keep them finished off nice and neat and it keeps my project straight when I use these row markers. These are um, optional for you, but that's just something I like to use. I did test it out using a worsted weight yarn, but I did not like how bulky it turned out. And also I used a thinner ponytail holder and it stretched too far. The opening is just too big and it's not stretchy and bounced back enough. So I did not like using this thinner ponytail holder. I did not particularly like the worsted weight. It's going to look totally fine, I believe, but I like how this lighter weight size three yarn just crocheted up a little more delicate in the appearance and it just has a much more of a prettier finished look on it when I was done. So let's get started and I'll show you how to crochet in the round and attach this ponytail holder. All right, we're ready to get started. Got my crochet hook and create our slip knot so that we can attach our yarn to our crochet hook. And here we go. Tighten it up a little bit, not too tight. Now we're going to do three chains and we're going to make a little circle. So that's what is going to start our crochet in the round. So three chains. We're going to take our hook and we're going to stick it into the first middle of the first chain and we're going to do a slip knot and attach one end of that chain three to the other end and it's going to make a small little circle. Now we've got that done. Right here in the very center of that circle is where we're going to start round one and we're going to crochet 15 double crochets into the center of this little circle. So hold your thumb there and make sure you keep your keep your finger right on the middle of it so that you can track where the center of that circle is as you crochet. So first we're going to make a chain three post and that's going to start round one. So chain one, chain two, chain three. I'm going to go ahead and mark the very last chain of that chain three post. When we come back around on round one, we're going to attach our last 15th double crochet right to that chain three post and that will end round one. And if I mark it, it'll be a little bit easier for me to show you when we get there and uh, we won't lose track of where our chain three post is. So now I've got my circle right here and I've got my tail. I'm going to hold right onto the edge of that circle and crochet right into the middle of that circle that we made. So we're going to yarn over and put 15 double crochets right into the center of that circle. And see how I have that tail holding it there? We're going to just crochet right around it. And when we finish with round one, we'll be able to cut that tail off and it'll be right crocheted right into our project and we don't have to worry about sewing it up. So I'm going to hold it right here on the edge of the circle, see, with my thumb. I'm going to yarn over and put my hook right in the middle of that circle. And as I do so, we will crochet right around that tail and it'll be hidden and no one will be able to see it no one will be for the wiser. So I've got two double crochets. I'm going to go ahead and do 13 more. See you back here in just a few minutes and I'll show you how to close off round number one. Now I'm finished with my 15 double crochets and we're ready to close off round one. Right where that marker is, that's where we're going to do our slip stitch to connect our 15th double crochet to our first chain three post that we made when we started the round. 
So let me take my marker off and that's where I'm going to stick my crochet needle in and we're going to do a slip stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull that hook and that yarn through that chain three post and through the top of that last double crochet that I made. So now that closes off round number one of our circle. Now when we flip it over we can see where we have crocheted in our yarn tail into the middle of that that circle that we made on those 15 double crochets. And I like to pull it tight, make sure I pull it tight and that closes off that circle a little bit and get my scissors and be careful not to cut your yarn on your circle you made and clip right there on the tail and cut that tail off. You can lay it to the side and stretch it out a little bit. Now that's your complete circle with your yarn tail gone. Now we're ready to start round two. So we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to put our hook into the top of the first double crochets that we made. And we're going to go all the way around and make round two. So go right into the very top of that double crochet. Yarn over and pull it through. And then you're going to pull it right through. So that's a slip stitch. So you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And go into the next double crochet and do a slip stitch. So yarn over, pull it through. Then you're going to pull it through the next loop. So we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And go into the top of the next double crochet. Yarn over and pull it through and take that first loop of yarn and pull it through the second loop. And do that all the way around until you reach the last double crochet. And this is my last chain five um, that I'm about to attach to finish off round two. So right where you initially started, where you did that last uh, double crochet that 15th one and you started your chain five to start the round two you go right into the very top of that post and just like you finished um, each little chain five loop for round two you do the same thing here so you go in and you do a slip stitch and you finish it right off and that is round two sort of looks like a little ruffly flower, a daisy. So now that you've completed that, you're about to start round three. To start round three, what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into the first two chains of this chain five loop. We're going to slip stitch into chain one and chain two, and then we're going to do a single crochet into the middle of this opening right here. Once we do that, then we can start round three. So we're going to slip stitch right here into this stitch, and then we're going to go right into the next chain two and do a slip stitch there. So we're going to sort of hide our yarn as we kind of come up this little chain five loop. So take our hook and go into the first of that chain five. It's a little tight, so you kind of have to push it in there. We're going to yarn over and we're going to slip stitch right there. Then we're going to go to the next chain right into the middle of that. Slip stitch, go right through that one and that one. And now we're going to do a single crochet. By sticking our hook right into this big opening circle here, we're going to yarn over and pull that yarn through. Then we're going to yarn over and pull it through both loops on our hook. That's a single crochet. That's the first stitch of round three. What I'm going to do now is mark that single crochet so that when we come back around this entire round, that we'll know where to end that round off easily, where there's no confusion. So I'm going to put my row marker right in the middle of that stitch, right where my last stitch is going to go on this round. Put it right in there and mark it off. 
Now I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to single crochet into the next loop, the five chain loop that we made on the row before. So go right into the middle of it, stick your hook right through, yarn over, pull it through, and then yarn over and make your single crochet. Now you're going to chain five, two, three, four, five, and you're going to do a single crochet into the next loop, five chain loop on the row before. So right in the middle of it, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, and that's another single crochet. And you're going to do that all the way around. Do chain five and then single crochet into the next loop. On that round before, there should be 16 total. I would call them look like little petals on a flower. So there should be 16 of them. So go all the way around and I will see you there in just a few minutes. Now that we reached all the way around, we're going to take out our yarn marker and we're going to do a slip stitch right into that first single crochet that we started on round three. So let me take it out and stick my hook right into the middle of that single crochet. We're going to yarn over, pull our hook through, and then pull that piece of yarn through. So that has completed round three. Now we're going to start our next round. I'm going to make six total rounds. If you need to make your hair bun cover smaller, you just don't complete as many rounds. If you have a little one with thicker, fuller hair and you need it to be bigger, you just add more rounds to your project before you attach it to your ponytail holder. Every round that you make after this is going to be started and finished the exact same way. You're going to do a slip stitch into the first two chains that hides your yarn so that you can come up to the top of this little loop and you're going to do a single crochet. That's your first stitch of your next round. So single crochet, chain five, and attach that chain five to the next loop with a single crochet, chain five, and go into the next loop with a single crochet. You do that all the way around, and when you get to where you started, you end your round by doing a slip stitch into that first single crochet you, that you'd completed on that round that you finished. And you would do that every time until you get to the size that you need. So I'm going to come back once I complete six of my rounds and show you how to add the ponytail holder. Now I've just about completed my last round. I'm on my sixth round. I'm going to do a slip stitch into that first single crochet that I made when I started the round. And that is the completion of my sixth row. Now we're ready to attach the project to a ponytail holder. Let me lay it out flat and you can see how big it is. It's just shy of being six inches in diameter. If you can see on my measuring table, one, two, three, four, five, six inches. It's just shy of that. So let's get it now where we can attach it to our ponytail holder. So I'm going to pull out the yarn just a little bit so it doesn't come loose from our project and get my ponytail holder. And I'm going to put my project through the middle of that ponytail holder because I want that ponytail holder to be on my yarn string behind my project. So we're going to drop that down for just a second and and go ahead and start our last round which is our single crochet round that's going to attach our ponytail holder. But before we can do that we need to slip stitch into the first two chains of our little loop that's right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And go into our second chain and do a slip stitch into that chain. Now we're ready to get our ponytail holder and we're going to pull it right up to the back of our project and we're going to do a single crochet right around that ponytail holder. So we're going to go right into that loop of that circle just like we've been doing and yarn over and pull the yarn through that circle. Then we're going to yarn over and pull it through both loops on the hook. That's a single crochet and see how it attached 
to our ponytail holder. So as we're crocheting this last round, it's all going to be single crochets. We're going to hold our yarn right next to our ponytail holder. So that was one, and we're going to do two more single crochets into the same loop. So that's two, and there is three. Now we're going to skip over to our next loop. Hold that ponytail holder right next to the next little loop petal that we have. And we're going to do three single crochets right into the loop and do a single crochet. And crochet right around our ponytail holder. Hold it right next to our yarn, our project. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, and pull it through both loops. So into each little what I've been calling petals, but little five chain loops, we're going to do three single crochets. So now we're going to hold the next five chain loop right onto our ponytail holder and we're going to do three single crochets. So yarn over and pull it through and two more single crochets, one more. Now we're going to go to our next chain five loop and hold it onto our ponytail holder. We're going to do three single crochets right into the middle of that loop. Holding our yarn next to our ponytail holder and we're crocheting right around it. So one more and you're going to do that all the way around and if you need to see how it's spread out you just get your project and you slide it on tight right up onto your ponytail holder to give yourself a little more room to work. And once you get all the way around, I'll show you how to finish off. See you back here in just a few minutes. Now I've crocheted all the way around, putting three single crochets into each below. Now I'm back to the beginning where I did my first single crochet, so I'm going to put my hook right into the top of that and do a slip stitch. So pull my yarn through, and now I'm going to cut me a pretty good yarn tail on here. Cut that project. And I'm going to pull that yarn all the way through. And I'm going to pull it tight. And that will finish off our project. Now I'm going to get my yarn needle and sew in this yarn tail into my project just a little bit just to make sure that it's nice and secure and um, finished off really nicely and when I sew my yarn tail in I just follow the direction of the yarn that's on the it's on the project and see how it's going this way well I'll just put my needle through there a few times and um, then I'll come back the same way, just hiding my yarn tail, just sliding it right in the middle of that piece. So that nobody sees it and just make sure that it doesn't come apart in any way. I'm just going to go right around a few more times and then go back the other way once and it should be done. Sometimes I think I do a little too much sewing on the yarn tail, but I'm always wanting to make sure that nothing happens to my project. So clip it off, stretch it out just a little bit, and there you go. A beautiful little hair bun cover. Now thanks for watching The Crafty Yarn Barn. Please like below and subscribe and be on the lookout for more projects coming your way. You have a wonderful blessed day.